What's going on guys, this is Mikey Blends back, bringing you back another video on the mid drop fade tutorial. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications. Make sure to go follow my Instagram. Also, I appreciate you guys for getting one of my videos to 20,000 views. That is crazy. It has over 300 likes. It's just crazy. But here's the before. And here are the after results of the mid drop fade with the texturized top. We'll also be going over that in this video. Thank you guys for the support and let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing I like doing is brushing down all the hair to make sure everything is nice and even all around. And our first step would be our bald line using the Babyliss trimmers right here. We'll be setting in that bald line in a drop motion as we get to the ear. In order to set in that curve behind the ear, we'll be using the corner of our trimmers to make sure we set it in. As you get lower, you just want to drop it. As you use the corners of your trimmers, make sure not to apply a lot of pressure so you do not irritate the skin or nick it. Right here, you can see how I did the drop fade, how it drops as you get to the back. Now, after setting in that guideline, we'll be going back into it and cleaning it all up. As you clean it up, make sure that the blade is sitting nice and flat against the client's skin. As you get behind the ear, make sure you remove all that stubble that's behind the ear. A lot of people tend to forget those. Just make sure you clean it all up. Also where the drop starts dropping, you always want to use the corners of your trimmers or clippers and it just makes it 10 times easier to follow that drop. Now we'll be setting in a bald guideline using our foil shavers here. We'll be setting in a finger width guideline. Every time I set in a brand new guideline, I always use my finger as a reference point for my guidelines. As I get behind the ear, I like to pull it down and using the corners of my foil shavers here, it's easier for me to set it in and give it that drop effect. After setting in the guideline behind the ear, now you just want to continue it all around the head. Now after setting in that bald guideline, now we're going to blend it out by tapping using the corners of our foil shavers. Using the corner of our foil shavers allows us to blend in that guideline from the skin to where the hair is at. Once again, when you get behind the ear, you want to make sure you pull down that ear and use the corners of your foil shavers to blend out that guideline. If you find yourself not being able to blend out that guideline, make sure you always scoop up with the foil shaver and not set in a new guideline. Now after removing that bald guideline, now it's time to set in our new guideline with the no guard lever all the way open following the same guideline we have set in with our trimmers. We will also be using the corners of our clippers here to follow that same drop fade guideline. As you set in your guideline, make sure to always scoop out. Here I demonstrate again that our guidelines will always be a finger width.
doing the guideline behind the ear always helps using the corners of our clippers. Now with the no guard lever closed, we'll be getting rid of that guideline. With the lever closed, we'll be getting rid of this harsh guideline that we had set in by flicking out using our clippers. In a flick out motion, as you get behind the ear, make sure you use the corners of your clippers to get rid of that harsh guideline we have set in. After getting rid of that harsh guideline, now with the lever halfway open, we'll be going in once again to blend the whole guideline together. Make sure to always use the corners of your clippers as you get behind the ear area since it can be tricky. Always pull the ear down to make sure that you do not nick or cut the ear. After blending everything in together, now it's time to use our number one guard with the lever all the way open, following that same drop fade effect that we have set in with our previous steps. In a flick out motion, you want to go around the whole head, following that same drop fade guideline that we have set in. After setting in the number one guard, now it's time to use our half guard with the lever halfway open to blend out that number one guard guideline we left. We will also be using the corner as we get behind the ear. For this step, you will not be setting in a new guideline. Instead, you will be flicking out as much as possible to make sure you're just fading in that whole area together. Always make sure to brush the hair down to make sure that when you're blending, it's all even. As I get to the dropping point of the guideline, I start using the corners of my clippers. I also start slowing down and taking my time as I brush down the hair again to make sure everything is nice and even. By scooping out, it makes everything more nice and easier to fade up. Now using the one and a half guard with the lever all the way open, we'll be flicking out and setting in our new guideline. With this guideline, we'll scoop out a little bit more extra since we will be blending in everything together. Now with the one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed, we'll be getting rid of this harsh guideline we have set in. What this will do, it will soften up that harsh guideline we set in and we'll be coming in with the number one guard to get rid of it. Make sure to always comb down the hair to make sure you're getting a nice and even cut. After softening up that guideline, now it's time to go in with the number one guard with the lever halfway open to get rid of that guideline. As you use the number one guard, you wanna make sure that you're just scooping out on that guideline and not setting in a new one. After cleaning out that gun line, now with the number three guard with the lever all the way closed and the scoop out motion, we'll be finally getting everything together. Scooping out using number three guard, we'll be setting in everything together and fading it all in. 
please make sure you scoop out and not dig in because digging in will cause for a new guideline to come in. Now with the two guard with the lever all the way open, we'll be coming in and flicking out where the number three guard was at. Flicking out using the number two guard will just bring the whole fade together. Make sure you rinse and repeat on the other side as well. After we're done doing the fade, now it's time for the quick lineup right here. I always like starting my guideline from the middle, going to one side and then to the other. As I do my lineups, I also like taking a step back and making sure everything is nice and straight. Now as I get to the wall portion, I like taking my time here and analyzing and making sure that it's nice and straight. Now for my favorite part, we will be getting into the styling process of the hair. So first we're going to be damping up his hair. After we damped up his hair, now it's time to use our borderline styling powder here. We'll be applying an even amount throughout the whole head. After we apply all around evenly, now it's time to style it. If you missed a couple sections like me as how I did here, don't be afraid to apply a little bit more and rub it all in. Now we will be going in using our Borderline Seesaw Spray. With a couple sprays on top of the head area, now you want to style it. The Seesaw Spray has an amazing smell to it, it smells just like coconut. If you guys are interested in buying these products, they're all linked in the description. Now after using our seesaw spray, we'll be coming in with our blow dryer just to give it that extra texture. Now look at that amazing after results. Man, you can't do any better than this. A mid drop fade with a textured top. Once again, you guys stick through the whole video. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for always motivating me and telling me to keep going. I appreciate you guys. Please, let's get this video to 10 likes. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And follow my Instagram for more video updates. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. This has been Mikey Blends, and I'm out. Peace.